Um, there's a couple families in our town, Tingle de Ponasa, that we serve with. One of them, um, Tom, uh, Alex and Tomasa, they now own a restaurant that a lot of us missionaries there have kind of helped start and um, it's doing pretty well and um, it's a blessing to know them and they often come to praise and worship on Fridays that we have there in the chapel as well as another family, Rida and Monica. Um, they, we've helped them start a bakery there in Tingle de Ponasa and have kind of developed our relationship with them um, through that. There's also um, a couple of younger guys that live in a close by town that we have, that John Paul got to know before I got there and then Ben and I have kind of continued to journey with them since uh, he left. Our goal is for them to have a, a means of steady income so that they can support their family and not have to worry about um, picking up work or um, the insecurity of the job situation uh, there in Peru. The normal work is working in the chacas, which are the farms around Tingle de Ponasa. Mostly they grow rice, corn, and papaya. And a lot of the workers there, some of them have their own land, some of them rent land from other bigger business owners. And a lot of them work as peones, which means like pawns, basically working for other people. And they'll work full days, 12 hour days, and often make between depending 40 to on the high end 100 soles a day which is like 10 to 25 dollars a day and it's not very consistent <laughs> and especially with the case of Alex and Tomasa um, them starting their business in their restaurant as it started to grow and do better they definitely showed a lot of uh, positive feedback and excitement for that business like uh, working on advertising getting different posters um, working through their hours, cooking different meals. So it was really cool to see the way they developed and grew and took pride in that, in that business, in that work environment.